So, this is now one week here with the green sands and and the basil is, is said to be red and and the, the, there is no um, oregano but I think I uh, this uh, wrong sensor in, in the, the plant so that's the first issue that uh, I really I already asked them in the comment section but I think they are too busy <laughs> to, to respond it would be nice if here you could somehow uh, uh, here says there's a number uh, on the sensor to to say uh, which one is but uh, here you see the water level is going down and this really uh, it's it's close to death because it's absolutely dry and I try to believe believe uh, these these measures and it's still it's still in the green zone yeah uh, uh, and and so, but uh, I already watered uh, the, the plants uh, one or two times uh, because uh, even so they both said that uh, here you see the water level is, is too high and and uh, here for the basil the water is also too high. I did not believe it and you see if I touch here it's, it's absolutely dry and so uh, yeah here so um, that's what you I usually when I buy these plants from from the uh, supermarket and uh, some some uh, dry and die but as a Brazil um, yeah it's winter time it, it's the morning uh, so I was, um, making the video before the sun here really comes in uh, this is a uh, thymus uh, it's also dry but uh, you see water level for the Brazil is said to be above the green zone and uh, I think this is a thymus as it's also above whereas uh, I guess here uh, <laughs> uh, that's here there's a really low water level uh, uh, that that must be <laughs> the oregano so I will put some put some water in so here yeah the, um, the, the parameters are not really <laughs> that uh, precise uh, but but it said in the comment section that they're still working on some some firm software bugs, and so that uh, the sensor data sometimes gets a bit weird. Yeah, and you see here it's only today or last hour or, or to four hours uh, late, so there is no uh, daily curve. So it would be nice to to have here. Uh, you see, these are only daily data, so it's, it's enough. You see, to, to what you usually need to say, okay, now today I need to water my plants, or I need to give them more light. But to see that uh, here, if it's okay, month, this is still. Uh, what's that? No, it's still daily data, and and so it's the same daily data. It would be um, nice to have. Uh, uh, hourly data over the day you see to really see when the sun rises because they uh, well they transmit uh, a couple of day depending on on, on the, the light uh, so they have enough energy for the wireless transmission and so it would be nice to see some uh, uh, hourly data to see that the sensors are really working so you see if you water the plants and you can really see okay now I did water them at 12 o'clock and the water level rises and but they are not showing that so and it's what I would like to if, if you could swipe here you see um, it's only this plant and you have to exit uh, here this plant to go into another plant and if you simply could uh, you see three times swipe uh, to, to see all my three plants uh, and also for this uh, for, for the other graphs you see here the, the, the week over the week data and you could swipe and then you could see okay uh, the difference between these plants uh, it's but you just have to close it and and close it again and and choose another one yeah, but uh, still, you see, good morning from Germany. Uh, going to be uh, to, today, tomorrow, sunny, sunny, uh, la late October uh, day. And it, it, it's really in, uh, very, very cheap. You see, uh, it's, I think the, uh, on the shop you can buy the 10 sensor uh, pack with, with uh, uh, 
VLAN hat for, for 99 dollars and so it's still really a very good thing and it, it's working it has a nice app you see it, it okay the sensor data it's if another thing you see if i would here you see i if I would change this to the real uh, original, which is not in the database, then uh, all, all the data uh, gets lost, uh, which I think should not be needed because they should really transmit the absolute values. And only, I think here, this graph underneath, this should change. You see, uh, it, it most looks uh, because I think the Brazil should need more water. And so for here, the underneath, uh, Let's go back to Brazil. It should be different. Yeah, maybe it looks a bit <laughs> uh, shift to the right. You see, if you now here look to the left, it's a red and orange. And go back to the thymus. It well, looks mostly, I think here there should be different changes because I think really Brazil needs more water than, than, than thymus. Uh, and so, but uh, here's uh, the eighteen percent that should be really the the, the absolute moisture value or, or the light value here. It should be the absolute light value from, from going onto the plant, and this only the underneath should change. Uh, did not get a response on on the comment section, and so that makes me a bit sad. But I'm still positive because you see, I'm very happy that they did succeed to, to, to ship it. Uh, whereas this uh, other start, um, same uh, group sensor, uh, plant sensor from Berlin, they did not manage uh, to, to product and ship, even so they were far more expensive. And this is really very cheap. And they did uh, succeed to ship it. And yeah, okay, and now I really. Uh, <laughs> need to water this plant uh, even so here it says okay it's, it's still low 18 percent but you see it could be because it's a southern plant and and therefore it uh, i i had this idea well it does not need much water it, it does need a dry soil you see that's the idea of this app you know, because usually you say oh it's dry uh, put water on it but um, some plants they need a dry environment and therefore uh, this app here if it say it's still in the green zone then well it's nice it's and and here you see it, it still says it's, it's happy uh, and, and therefore uh, here you see this uh, this values um, must be uh, i think there's a pr uh, need to be improved here the app, but uh, the product, uh, I think, is still very, very nice. Here, the oh, sorry, here, Chaos uh, Paper Street Soap Company. <laughs> uh, you see, it's 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 very nice. You, you first, uh, you just uh, take your your Android phone, and this becomes a a, a second hotspot, and then you log into this hotspot and gi giving the password and and the, the of the true uh, local area network uh, local wireless network <laughs> and you see after that this one then uh, stops his own uh, hotspot and then uh, locks into the uh, uh, the your open uh, sorry <laughs> into your hotspot and so it's very easy to set up. You see, you just need the password of your home uh, uh, wireless network and you tell it this device and this device and uh, forwards the connection to the, to the true one. And, and so first, I really did not, uh, was unsure if it's working, but really it, it, it <laughs> it's, it's working very easily. And, and so for you see, People are complaining that the distance here is, is not, uh, but you see, it's just only a small solar cell. Uh, and so you see here, that's uh, these five meters to there. And then uh, my wireless network is a neighbor. So uh, it, from there it goes uh, 20, 30 meters to, to the house or up opposite of the street. And so this uh, really is, is very nice. But you, well, you, it should be in the same room or maybe one wall, but you should not expect too much. And that's enough for this review. As I said here, I really would like to, to swipe. Uh, I, I would like to have uh, hourly data. And of course, uh, here's a, the, the data uh, should, if, if it's in the green zone, then well, the, the plant should, should not <laughs> uh, dry of, of dry, uh, die of dry soil. Yeah.
Okay, but still, uh, I'm very positive for this thing because you see it's well cheap and you should not expect uh, this uh, to really work out of the box as a, a device that usually uh, would, would cost usually <laughs> about 10 times uh, <coughs> this one. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you.